Hey guys, so next time someone asks you how single are you, this is how single I am. I'm making a boyfriend pillow, so I'm going to cuddle away that night because uh, having 15 pillows can't be healthy. Um, anyways, okay, so what I used was an old 3X flannel shirt of mine. Um, an old flannel weren't being a 3X size anymore, so why not? Um, okay, so you can do this two ways. I do it the whole shirt because, hello, more cuddles. It actually makes you feel like you're putting your arm around a guy. Or you can go glue, glee style because this is totally, totally on glee. Um, season 4, episode 17, I believe. The Guilty Pleasure episode, which glee is amazing. Anyways, um, he's been, this, I, wanted been, I wanted to make this tutorial, tutorial for like the longest time now, but. I never have done it because I've been lazy and depression and fun stuff like that. So, anyways, if you can bend it in half, fill it up, fill up the arm, then this part goes around you. But I like it this way. So, I've already done this part. So, you sew up here, necktie, I mean, the neck where your neck is at, that part gets sewed. You tuck in this arm. So you can always restuff if need to be. You sew the not sew. You can sew or stitch, whatever. Stitch the whole bottom because I like stitching. It's way easier. And then stitch the armhole that you'll be stuffing. You can. It's a bit creepy. Fill a glove with fluff or rice if you want to make it heavy. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. And then you can sew, and then fill it up, and then stitch it in there if you want. Make a little hand. That's a bit much. I didn't, I didn't go to that next level. That'll probably be in a few months if I'm still single. Um. Anyways. So also, two ways you can do this. You can fill it just with fluff, which is like pillow fluff. It's called uh, filler fill or some of like that. From any craft store or Amazon or wherever you want to get it. Actually, I got it at Michael's, and I found it cheaper on Amazon. I was kind of mad about that, but it's okay. Or, trusty pillow. This pillow is like a nice, firm-ish pillow. So I put this one on this side. Like that. Actually, you want it the side that you're cuddling, because, hello. So there, okay? And then you have all this extra space on this side. Take your trusty foam. Start stuffing. But leave some for the arm. Because laying on this fluff, I learned the hard way. It just like pokes your face. So a way to prevent that is you feel like a baseball shirt or just a long sleeve guy shirt. Preferably the same size as the flannel so they fit. So I go and get a long sleeve shirt, stuff that, and then put wrap the shirt around that. Couple protection and you you have it's all for material, you don't have this fuzz popping through. But if you're tired enough and lonely enough, probably doesn't even matter. Okay, that's that's good enough. It's a little fluffy. So then turn to your trusty arm. Okay. Take your fluff. Stuff it in the arm. Now, depending, you want it to be a little bit bendable so you can bend it and hold it in your face because, hello, who doesn't like a man hugging them or a woman or whatever? <sighs> stuffy, stuffy. That's good enough. So, that's nice. Look, 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 look at those arm muscles. Nice and firm. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, okay. Just kidding. Okay, take your rest of your fluff. Add it to the other side. So, I've also thought about doing a layer on the other opposite side of this. Of, like, rice or uh, beans or something to hold it down so it's not so fluffy on one side. 
and then you just button up the front if you want to you can um sew it but stitch it whatever you could use uh make it a no sew craft you can just do the um fabric tape but uh pulling an iron into my bed to iron this was gonna be a bit much so so that was an easier option for me okay that's pretty much it you guys I'm not going to lay with it because that's just too much, just, just too weirdness. Too much weirdness. Let's make it as for me. Oh, extra button. Oh, there it is. And then button this. And there you go. And here's your pillow. You can move the fluff around. You can adjust it or whatever. But if you sew this, keep the arm undone. That way you can just pull the sleep back up and stuff. Fix the stuffing and whatnot. Or the pillow or whoever you want to work this. There you go. That's it, guys. So when you're done, it'll look like that. And you just take your trusty little pillow. Boom. Done. Okay. You're welcome. More single tutorials coming soon.